This is a 2012 Wildwood, model number 29 QBBS. This presentation is brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Eldridge, Iowa. Okay, we're going to start with the sturdy rolled metal exterior on the unit with the new 2012 graphic on the front here with the swept front, diamond plate rock guard, and light on the front there. Twin 20 pound LP tanks in the deluxe molded cover, deep cycle RV battery in the battery box, pass through storage right there, four integral frame mounted stabilizer jacks, one to each corner. This is obviously a slide out floor plan with the windows on the side of the slide, not just on the outside outward facing slide portion, but also on the sides of the slide. Say that 10 times in a row. Okay, moving along down the exterior, you do have easy lube axles, so it's going to be very easy to lubricate your bearings when the time comes with the easy lube axles on the tandems, electric brake too, 30 amp electrical service, a city water connection, park cable, as well as satellite dish hookups right there and additional exterior storage, sewer connections as well, tell right there. Now the Wildwood units do have a genuine plywood subfloor, not cheap particle board OSB chipboard, but it's a genuine tongue and groove plywood construction, a more solid, more durable, and more water resistant floor on a Wildwood unit. Now across over the camping side here, additional storage, as you can tell right there, these are electrically activated rear stabilizer jacks, and you have the same corresponding situation on the front jacks too. Twin entryways with triple entry stairs, you have a large A and E rollout awning that is electrically deployed, an electrically deployed awning across the front here. These are nitrogen Bell tires. Green nitrogen. Six gallon gas water heater with direct spark ignition. Step back this way to take a look at the unit. Again, it's a 2012 Wildwood manufactured by Forest River. Model 29 QB BS. Here you have your front electrically activated stabilizer jacks. Now, the neat thing about these electric stabilizer jacks, well, in, in particular with the, the awning, is that they are activated with a touch control. You have a touch control that is it's a really cool little remote for which you can use to deploy them. Makes your setup very quick and easy. A really neat thing. This is the interior, the, the stone decor interior. Other decor styles may be available to inquire regarding availability. Dry weight of 6,700 pounds, 6,700 pounds dry weight. Okay, we'll start with right here where we came in, a radius cut door. It will not damage your awning if your awning is in the lowered position and you happen to open your door. It will not damage it because you have a radius cut door with smooth rounded corners. Crank up antenna, rooftop antenna right there. Here you have your interior switch for the electric deployed awning. And right over here you have your slide out controls, system monitor panel as well as your hot water heater activation right there, conveniently located in one place. Plenty of counter space and plenty of floor space too I might add. Now moving on over past the counter. Here we have full extension drawers, and they are on ball bearing guides, ball bearing drawer guides. It's like liquid butter. Very easy, quick and simple to operate. Deep well, dual well sink, acrylic deep well sink with a high rise faucet, GFCI protected electrical outlet behind it, and lighting right there. Moving across. Touch control, electronic touch control, microwave oven, range hood, which is fully ducted to the outside, exterior vented range hood with a fan light combination, three burner suburban high output 
range top with the oven below. The stove below, I should say, or the, uh, the oven below. You have an oven at home, why would you want to try to do without one? Don't do without one, you can very easily have one on your Wildwood from Terry Fraser's. Continuing on over to Dometic Gas Electric Refrigerator and Freezer, two-door obviously, surround sound. Now you have fully ducted air conditioning throughout the unit. As long as we're looking at the roof, let's slide back this way. 13,500 BTU Duotherm fully ducted air conditioning throughout the coach. Here's your wall thermostat for climate control. Let's move into the John house here. Here's your second entry door, also another radius cut door, by the way. And it's conveniently located right by good old friendly you-know-who here. Alright, here you have your Thetford stool, garden tub, with full tub surround. Expect a full tub surround. You should protect your investment. Why do without it? You don't have to do without it if you get this particular unit. Full tub surround. And, oh, okay, also you do have a power vent on the ceiling as well. We know why. Okay, moving on to the bunkhouse portion. Quad bunks to the rear here. Plenty of nice lighting provided because of the generous application of windows and egress window over here too, incidentally, I might add. Have reading light right there as well as one down here and the same corresponding ones on the other two bunks as well. You are pre-wired for the very easy addition of a bedroom TV. You know where it goes. Okay. Moving on to your lavatory or sink located right there. Medicine cabinet immediately above and the convenient light to boot. A closet right there. Moving on to your convertible dinette. This again is the stone interior decor option which you see and other options may be available in fire if you wish a different decor option. Large, large, huge slide out here. Very generous slide out size. Wide, deep, tall, the whole nine yards. Now you have storage beneath <clears throat> right here and you do have an additional storage capability right here once again it just slides so easily because it's on ball bearings and not necessarily found on other units just the fact that you have that storage capability there egress window directly behind on over to your entertainment center now you do have the capability of adding your own flat screen TV of your choice. I believe it goes up to a 26 inch TV and it fits on the spin mechanism right there. To move it to a bedroom TV you simply remove this pin here and it spins around over into the bedroom. Down below here you have your CD player, AM FM CD with auxiliary input as well for the music player of your choice if you wish. On over to the main bedroom. Full walk around main bedroom. Not often found on a spin TV setup, but this one you do have a full walk around Queen Island bed, a true Queen Island bed. The shirt closet on the side here. And your reading light. Another shirt closet on that side. And to view the TV from the bedroom side, it'd be a simple matter of opening these doors up right here. And you spin the spin TV mechanism as you see right there. Moves right around. 
and you're very easily able to see your TV in the bedroom area. Take a quick look around from this angle. And continue on around here. That fairly well concludes things inside this 2012 Wildwood model number 28QBBS. Take another look back towards this direction. With another reminder, this presentation was brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Eldridge, Iowa. Thank you.